All right, let's talk. So for the first, we're seeing where you add a one to three to get four. You add a one to four to get five. You add a two to five to get seven. A two to seven to get nine. You add a three to nine to get 12. A three to 12 to get 15. Based on this pattern, what do I need to do to 15 uh, to produce sir, the next thing? Yes. Sir, add four to it because, and we'll get 19. Exactly. And then, and then if we were supposed to find the next two, sir, we will also add 14 to the 19 to get the next answer. Yeah, because they're adding one, one, and then they add two, then add two, then they add three, then add three. Then this time now is the beginning of four. And if they were looking for another one, you would have added four again to get 23. So 19 is correct right there. When a number is put into a machine, a different number comes out. All right. When you put a number in the machine, something else comes out. If five goes in, two comes out. Five goes in. So we kind of want to look at something, some input. Matter of fact, let, let us set up a little input and output. In, put, out, put. So I'm just doing that. So they did say five goes in, and I'm going to use my arrow to say what comes out. So we're kind of using that. Five goes in, two comes out. Let's set up the diagram first. Then, so five goes in, two comes out. Seven goes in, four comes out. I'm setting it up first. Then eight, take out five. And they're asking 10 goes in, what's going to come out? The answer is seven. All right. All right. Two persons said seven there. Explain. Two so persons said it. Go ahead. <laughs> If you have five or you subtract three from five, you're going to get two. You subtract three from seven, you get four. Subtract three from eight, you get five. So you would have subtract three from ten, the forgotten seven. All right. So basically then, you're noticing that the output is three less than the input. Yeah. It's like yes, you're sir. taking away three, you're subtracting three. You, so, yes. so input and output, so you're able to see a pattern, all right? I saw Romani putting out that very early as well, and others. All right, very good going, very good going. Um, Sir, if the fifth month comes two days after Monday, what day of the week comes before the 19th of the month? The fifth of the month, okay. The fifth of the month comes two days after Monday, all right? Remember that? Two days after Monday, the 5th, blam. What day of the week comes before the 19th? No problem. So you need to, see, again, write up this. Set up the thing. You already know the days of the week. All right? So I would start off with the days of the week. And then I'm going to put the 5th somewhere based on what they say. And if I could put the 5th somewhere, I could know the 4th. The six, the seven, I could know so many things. And I could even skip weeks. The other week, what would it be? So I want to see what you set up. I want you to set up something quickly. I'm giving you, all right, based on this, I'll probably have to give you a two and a half minutes to write up the thing, all right? I just want to see, I just want you to practice to set up a system and to get out your answer. Never guess the answers. All right, you have your answer. And what's your answer? I got C, sir. Okay. Right. So I would just set up a quick little thing like that, all right? So the fifth is going to be coming um, two days after Monday. So the fifth is on a Wednesday, right? Fifth is on a Wednesday, agree? Yes, sir. All right. So this is it. The fifth is on a Wednesday. And then now, they're asking about what day of the week comes before the 9th. 
15th. So, okay. but you could you could use the fifth and no. Because every week is seven days. So if you add seven to this, you'll get the twelfth. And if you add seven to this, you get you get nineteen. So you would see that the fifth, the twelfth, and the nineteenth will all fall on a Wednesday because one week is to add seven more days to that previous. Make sense? So if Wednesday is the fifth, Wednesday is going to be on the 12th again, and Wednesday is going to be on the 19th again, because you're adding seven each time. So the question is saying that which day of the week comes before the 19th? And your answer was what, Nikoi? Tuesday, sir, C. C, exactly. All right. A certain movie is 90 minutes long. It started 5.10. During the movie, there were two commercial breaks. One lasted eight minutes and the other five minutes. At what time did the movie finish? Go ahead. Uh, I, so if it's a um, movie is 30, 90 minutes long, and it started at 5.10, you would have to add an hour and 30 minutes to 5.10 p.m., which is right. 6.40. Oh, hold on, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's put it together. Hold on, hold on. You're saying that add one hour and what, 30? One so hour and 30 minutes to 5.10 p.m. Right. So you Without the commercial, if there was no commercial, it would have finished at that time. Yes, right. sir. But All right, go, go ahead, go ahead, continue. And if there were two commercial breaks, both eight minutes and five minutes, you would have to add 13 to 640, mm -hmm. which is 653. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Good working out. So. Number 25 says, Joanne baked some cookies. She tried to divide them evenly between two plates, then three plates, and finally four plates. Each time she had one cookie left over, how many cookies did Joan bake? I divided two into <coughs> 30. It could only go six times and it had a remainder of one. I divided three in 13. He got the same thing. He did the same thing. It go four times. And still has a remainder of one. Mm -hmm. So I divided four into 30 and it goes three, four into 13. It goes three times and still has a remainder of one. That's what I've All right. All right. All right. 13 sounds good. I'm looking at 11 now, then I'm going to look at 13. Because okay. I'm saying if you have 11 cookies and you want to divide it up into two, you will go all the way up to 10. You put in two, two in each plate, you'll go up to 10. One will be left in your hand. Fine. But if you're, if you're using threes, you'll go up to nine, and then two cookies will be left in your hand, not one. Make sense? You'll put three in one plate. Yes, yes. Three in the next plate. Three in the next plate. And then you have two cookies left in your hand, not one. Make sense? Yes, sir. So, so, so with that said, right there, 11 is spoiled already. If you understand what I mean, 11 is spoiled because I, I see where I have two left in my hands right now. Because when nine came out of it, I'm left with two, so we couldn't choose 11. 13 now. Let us say you had 13 cookies. Now, when you go by two, you'll go two, 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 two again. This is 12. And you said, okay, I have one cookie in my hand. All right, one is left over. Let's go by three. Three, 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 three. And I'm like, okay, that is 12. I still have one cookie left in my hand. If I go with four, I said four in one, four and four. This takes me to 12 again. And I have one cookie left in my hand. So you realize that 13 would be the number of cookies the person would have had to try to share it up by twos, by threes, and by fours, and each time they're left with just one. 
So you have to be careful. You can't pass the number that you're thinking. Because if we have 11 cookies in our hand, we can't go up to 12 and say we have one left over. No, we didn't have one left over. Because you can't pass the number of cookies. So that is why I was saying just be careful. With This one is a little tricky. You might want to pick 11, but no, you can't pass 11 because it's 11 cookies you have. But you could see where we could have gone up to 12 each time and we're left with one cookie every time because we were able to go up to 12 and 12 does not pass 13. So I have 13 cookies in my hand. I share out 12. In sets of fours, it work. In sets of threes, it work. In sets of twos, it still work. I go up to 12 and I still have one cookie left in my hand. So the answer is E for egg this time. All right.